Hello, everybody. Tiffany Higgins here going live. Today is Tuesday, and every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central Time, I go live right here in the Have Your Cake and Eat It Too Facebook group. If you're watching outside of this group, uh, definitely let me know. We can get you a link to join the group because that's where all the fun is. And everybody inside our group is part of our cake family, and we help you learn to have your cake and eat it too. And that basically just means that you get to be the kind of parent that you want to be without being chained to a corporate job and missing out on your kids' milestones. But you also get to build wealth for your family and not be dead broke. So when I first had my kids, I always wanted to be a mom. That was my number one goal in life. But I did have career aspirations as well. And I didn't want to be poor. I didn't want to grow up broke. And I wanted to give my kids all the things in life that I could possibly give them, like taking them on vacations that were like really impactful and doing fun things with them and having enough money to buy things and live in a nice house. And um, I struggled really hard when my older two kids were little because I didn't know that you could create wealth working from home and still have a flexible schedule and be there for all of your kids' milestones. And it wasn't until I took the leap and started my own virtual bookkeeping business that I realized how incredibly easy and possible it is for moms to be able to have their cake and eat it too. So that's why we're here today. So I launched the Stay at Home Bookkeeper Academy to help other moms follow in my footsteps and get a chance to have the same benefits and live the lifestyle that we had grown to enjoy. And it was so life-changing for us. And I'm super excited to be able to share it with you guys as well. So I'm going to drop a link in here. If you go to my website, stayathomebookkeeper.com, you can grab a copy of my ebook. It's $5.90. And it walks you through the entire process of what your life could look like if you take the leap and start your own bookkeeping business. And it kind of goes through, you know, everything that I went through, gives you guys really great real world examples of how your life could change and what your life would look like if you decided to do this. So um, that's a great place to start if you are brand new to the group and you haven't read the ebook yet. If you're watching and you have any specific questions about starting a virtual bookkeeping business or about um, enrolling in one of our programs, let me know, comment below, because I love to make these lives interactive and I love to answer the questions that you have while you're watching. So post your questions below as we go through this. And if you are watching the replay, hop on over to the website grab a copy of the ebook. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the website, you can also book a free call with our team. Our team is super awesome. A bunch of really great ladies that will help talk you through what are your goals for your family? What are some of the things that you strive for where you feel like you're not getting to have your cake and eat it too? And they'll help you see the path. Like how would a bookkeeping business help you change your life and help you reach the goals that you have for your family and for your kids. Uh, so we can walk you through all of that and give you get a lot of clarity around, is this right for you and your family? And if so, which program is going to be right for you to enroll in? So we have lots of student success stories on our website as well. Uh, lots of students are having a lot of success in our academy, and we also have a million-dollar bookkeeper inner circle where you can learn how to take your bookkeeping business that you started, potentially as a side hustle, and is now a uh, really successful business that you want to keep pushing the limits, uh, break the glass ceiling of what you ever thought was possible and build a team around you so they can help you do the work and you can make a ton of money and running your own business more than you probably have ever thought of being able to make before. So that's what we're here. That's what we're here to help. We're all about helping. You can also go to the website. I'll show you this really cool calculator. Let's see, screen one. So we've got this really cool calculator. If you scroll down on our website and it shows you exactly 
how many clients that you need in order to replace your corporate salary or to cover all the bills that you currently have at your house. So if you need about $5,000 a month to be able to quit your job or to cover all of your bills so that your husband could quit his job, uh, you only need about 10 super small clients in order to make $5,000 a month in reoccurring revenue. Uh, and just so you guys know, want to know is for 10 clients might sound like a lot. I don't know if it sounds like a lot to you, but to put it into perspective, there are 35 million businesses in the U.S. alone, and you only need 10 of them to be able to work and make $5,000 a month virtually on your own schedule from home with your kids. And to make it even sweeter for you, how many hours a week do you expect to work to make that $5,000 a month when you have 10 clients? Honestly, it's about 10, 10 hours a week. And when you first get a client, there's a little bit extra work that needs to be done and a lot more communication at the beginning, getting caught up, getting a system in place. So it can go up to about 16 or 17 hours a week for the first month or two. But once you have this client and you understand their spending habits and understand their business, it drops down to about 10 hours a week, sometimes even less. So if you want to make $5,000 a month and you want to work 10 hours a week or less, then you can do that with only 10 clients in your bookkeeping business. So pretty exciting stuff and really, really profitable, fun, awesome business that you guys can have. Um, and yeah, Sh Chandra says, so excited to start. Awesome. We are excited for you. Super excited for you. Are you um, in our bookkeeper Academy? Did you join that already? Or do you have a call booked with us? Um, so it's, yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, if you Google most profitable businesses, you are going to see a lot of information about the top three service-based businesses that are the most, most profitable and a bookkeeping or accounting firm is right there in the top. And uh, I think it's on like Forbes.com too. They even wrote an article about it. So uh, the other really cool thing is you're going to make $5,000 a month working that 10 hours a week, but you're going to have almost no expenses, guys, no expenses. So it's really exciting because, you know, you might start becoming friends with more and more entrepreneurs and you, you'll see people posting about their revenue, how much they made, but they never really talk about their profit. Well, in a bookkeeping business, your profit is going to be like 90% of your revenue. You're going to keep almost all of it, which is amazing. Uh, Christina Marie is a newbie here. Hi, Christina. Thanks for joining us. Let me know if you have any specific questions. Also, I'd be curious, where did you hear about us? Um, I'd love to know where you heard about us. We just went live yesterday with a couple of billboards up in the Houston downtown area. So I'm super excited about that. We are kind of expanding everywhere. Um, we're also going to be in a movie soon, which is really exciting. And the movie producers are actually like really excited to make a commercial about the Stay at Home Bookkeeper Academy to cut to during the movie. Uh, it's a movie documentary. So it's really incredible. Never thought I would be like an actor. Um, so that's going to be exciting. But the Stay at Home Bookkeeper Academy is here to stay for the long haul. So when you invest in this program, we are here to help you through your entire journey. When you first get in, we have a, an academy that is 12 months long, and you can go at your own pace. We have two different types of people that enroll in the academy. Number one, they are parents that want to work less so they can be home and spend more time with their kids. So they are, able, they are content with the current amount of money that they're bringing in. So they transition from their corporate job to a bookkeeping business, and they're able to reduce the amount of hours they work by four times. And so that's one of the uh, types of people that join our academy. The other type of person is somebody that wants to make a lot more money. Maybe they want to work full time. Maybe they want to work, you know, 20, 30, 40 hours a week, but they just want to make a lot more money. So you can, you can make up to four to five times more money working 40 hours a week in your bookkeeping business than you would at your corporate job. So a uh, couple different options that you have when you join. And for those of you, and, and the other good thing is too, you can change your mind at any point in time and structure your business however you want. So let's say you 
come in with the intent of working 40 hours a week and you're growing your business and you're making 200, $250,000 a year in your business takes about, I'd say maybe it depends on how much time you have, but maybe like 18 months to two years to get yourself up to making $250,000 a year. But maybe at that point in time, you decide to have another baby and you need to scale back. So then you can join our million dollar bookkeeper inner circle. And we show you how to build a team so that your team can carry out that work and you can pull yourself into the CEO uh, job description and basically cut your hours down by four times as much then as well and still be making quite a bit of money. Uh, we have a whole training on that in the inner circle, our million dollar bookkeeper inner circle. Um, so lots of options. And you can also start small. If you've got little ones at home right now, or you're pregnant, or you're just having a baby and you want to be home. So you want to just start small, just so you can like cover the bills and be able to be home. You can definitely do that. And then you can ramp it up later when, you know, your kids are more self-sufficient and maybe they're going to preschool a couple of days a week or something like that. And you have more time, you can ramp it up then. So it's a, it's a business that can like grow. It's like an accordion. It can like grow and, um, and, and sink uh, down if you wanted to. So it's really, it's really flexible and really nice to be able to do that. Christina Marie says, I'm currently joining from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Um, found you on a Facebook ad. Awesome. Yay. Welcome. Super excited to have you here. So um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any particular questions. Uh, I've been doing a lot of podcast interviews. We are going to have a virtual event coming soon. So there's going to be a lot of really cool speakers in that virtual event. Happy to share that with you guys soon. So we've had lots of fun stuff going on. And uh, I am just here to help answer any questions that you guys have. Let's see, what else could I share on the website? Oh, I'm going to put a link to book a free discovery call. So we do these calls for free for anybody that is curious about how this would work for their family. And if they want to talk to somebody in person about their particular situation. We'll go over all of that in depth with you on the phone and help you determine, you know, what is this going to look like for your family and uh, what are the best options for moving forward for you? So there's not very many questions today. I like questions and I am here just hanging out. Anybody has questions? Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. I guess I can go over some of the features in the Academy. So I'll share my screen with this one. Um, or actually I can just read them. So, and if you decide to join our bookkeeper Academy and we'll go over all of this with you on a call, if you would like, uh, we have full 12 months of support. So for those of you that have a lot to juggle right now, you have a corporate job or you have kids at home and you need to take your time with this. We have, we give you ample amount of time, 12 full months of support. And uh, depending on your goals, you can get set up to, by the end of your 12 months in there, you should be making eight to $10,000 a month. Uh, if that's not your goal though, it may take you longer if you have limited time to work on it. You only really need a couple hours a day to work on your business in order to be able, be at the point where you're making eight to $10,000 a day by the end. Um, so if you have two hours a day to work on it, you can definitely get to that point. Uh, so 12 full months of, of support in our piece of cake, private Facebook group, where you can post questions and get answers, uh, seven days a week from our team. We also have, you get free lifetime access to our bookkeeping course, payroll basics for bookkeepers, our quoting tool, and a lot more. And you get 12 months access to our library of resources database, which is all of the Zoom calls we've done. And uh, they're all transcribed and fully searchable by keywords. There's special trainings. There's all sorts of awesome information in the library of resources. One of my favorite features is when you get your first client, you're probably not going to know how to do bookkeeping at all. You're probably not going to know what to do. And we expect that everyone in our academy comes in with no prior bookkeeping experience, no prior accounting experience. Um, not everybody. We do have some people that do have accounting degrees, but most people do not. And so we want you to learn the skill of marketing and 
putting yourself out there. And when you get your first client, that's when you shift gears and you focus on learning the bookkeeping part. So we help you by providing unlimited private one-on-one calls when you get your first client. So we can walk you through everything that you need to do in order to produce perfect financial statements for your client. So we have you hop on a call. We explain everything that you need to do. We send you on your way to do it. You book another call, come back. We check your work and then we tell you what the next step is. And once you get that down for one client, then you know the process for every other client after that. So uh, it still takes like maybe like client two through four before you really feel super confident and know what you're doing. Um, But that first client really solidifies everything, the whole process from start to finish. We also have weekly mindset calls that cover goal setting, mental roadblocks, empowering life-changing books that are suggested by our team, and really anything to help you get out of being stuck in your business, but also in your personal life. So the weekly mindset calls are great. We also have weekly marketing calls. So if you have never done marketing before, uh, like I hadn't, I had never done marketing before when I started my business and I found all the cheap and free ways to find new clients. And we walk you through all of that in our program and support you on that on weekly marketing calls to help you get your name out there because the only way to really feel the positive effects of growing your bookkeeping business is if you actually get clients. So marketing is the most important thing that you can do. Uh, We also have bi-weekly sales trainings. So this helps you know when you do your marketing and you follow the steps and you start getting leads, which 100% of the time does happen, then you know how to talk to these potential clients and then land these clients and bring them on board in a way that feels great to you. Uh, So if you've never had a sales training or if you've ever had bad experience with salespeople before, like buying a car or something like that, um, then we teach you how to basically learn the skill of sales, but in a, in a really great way that helps people, helps your clients and makes you feel great. Uh, three times a week, we have office hour zoom calls where you can, it's an open Q and a, you can get all of your questions answered there. And during these office hour zoom calls, you also can request a private one-on-one breakout room with one of our coaches so that they can help you they can help uh, answer your questions in a private setting. So if you ever need to share your screen or talk about something confidential, you'll also be able to do that as well. We have a weekly bookkeeping basics and QBO training uh, course that we are class that we provide. So if you're brand new to uh, bookkeeping, brand new to QBO, we answer all of those beginner questions on that call as well. Uh, we have bi-weekly boundaries and balance training. So uh, when you become a business owner, you're working from home. It's like your kids are there, your business is there, and everything is always going on. So we teach you how to have boundaries around that so that you really can keep your hours on your business to a minimal, be really structured with what you're working on. And then that way you have all this free time and you're not just like doing everything all the time. So we go over all of the boundaries and balance and help you really love your business and, but love your life as well. Um, Then we have free financial statement reviews. So every single client you have, you are able to request a complete 15 to 60 minute long video review, which we will email to you so you can keep. And it shows, we'll tell you everything that you did right on doing the client work. We'll give you suggestions if anything needs to be changed or edited. So you can have a hundred percent peace of mind that you are giving your clients perfect work, perfect financial statements. And we have up-to-date tax information all the time as well. So tax laws are changing and we, we don't, as bookkeepers, need to know everything about tax law, but the more that you do know, the better you can uh, prepare your clients for um, speaking with their tax experts. So we do provide as much tax information as we can to you. And we also offer a free logo design. So when you start your business, we will help you and we will create your logo so you can order business cards and put it on your social media platform. And uh, we also design your website as well. So we take that logo and put it on your website and we design that for you. 
We also have a new feature called EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques. So if you have a particular roadblock or something's holding you back in your personal life or in your business, we have special calls that help you break past those barriers in addition to our normal weekly mindset calls. So those have been a very, very popular feature as well. Uh, we have calls on how to set up your bookkeeping business. So we show you how to use Canva, how to make edits to your website. If you ever want to add, you know, a client testimonial or, or change your name or anything like that, we show you how to do that on your website. We help you set up your back office stuff. We have orientation calls. We have midterm and graduation calls, and we have monthly check-ins. And uh, let's see what else. We have a submit a question feature. If you ever want to know what an answer, a question, an answer to your question, but you can't make the Zoom calls. So we can help you with that as well. All right, I think that's a good majority of all the features. So, um, but you know, really it's all about the results, right? Like it's more important than the features. And the results are you being able to be home on a flexible schedule, working a lot less hours or making a lot more money and being, being able to provide for your kiddos. And uh, also have some kind of like new purpose for yourself as well. It's kind of nice to have a business because you end up having something that's yours, that's for you and you're striving towards. And you're whenever you put in hard work, you reap the benefits of that versus like being in a corporate job where you put in the hard work, but then your boss might reap the benefits of it. So when you do that, you get the benefits of, of it. Um, you do not have to be good at math. Great question, Corey. Uh, a lot of people, it's a common misconception that you have to be good at math, but you do not. Uh, bookkeeping, is, yes, it has numbers, but it's more about organization and business concepts. So you're going to learn all of that in our academy and uh, you don't have to be good at math. I use a calculator for literally everything. And there's actually calculators built into QuickBooks Online. So as long as you are okay with working with numbers and you're organized and you have attention to detail, you will be so good at this. You do not have to like math at all. Uh, do I have to complete the whole 12 months in the academy before I begin making money? Ooh, great question. Actually, we have the academy is designed to help you start making money right from the start, right from the very beginning. And uh, you will not complete the whole 12 months. You will basically just get in there, learn the basics, go through the coursework and learn how to start marketing. And then we help you fill in the gaps there until you are a rock solid bookkeeper and you know exactly what you're doing. So a lot of students have clients uh, you know, leads knocking on their door as soon as they start marketing, like within a day. Uh, I even just saw somebody, I think it was Donna. She posted like yesterday on Facebook that she was starting her bookkeeping business. And literally today she posted that she had a lead and she had someone asking for a quote. So a lot of people will get clients the first day they start marketing or at least get leads um, and people interested. Um, and it can take anywhere from like a week to up to like 90 days sometimes to get your first client just depends on the person, depends on how willing you are to follow the steps and put yourself out there. And it depends on who you have in your current circle. It may take a little bit of time to build up some business owner connections. Uh, if you don't have hardly any that are currently in your circle, um, so, but anyway, it takes anywhere from like a week to 90 days to start getting, making some money, getting your first client. I'd say the average is probably four weeks. Uh, Chandra says, starting from Utah, I'm just getting ready to pay. Loved all the testimonials. Yes, there's so many testimonials, so many people having success. And really it is a 100% success rate, 100% success rate, uh, as long as you follow the steps. So you will 100% be successful at this. Uh, what if I can't announce or market yet on social media due to my current job? Do you guys help with additional marketing techniques besides social media? Yeah, so we've had this come up quite a bit um, in, in the academy. And I will say probably a good 75% of the time, a student thinks that that's an issue. But when they actually talk to their employer about it, it ends up being a non-issue. So my first, my first thing I'd say is, ask your employer what they think, Tell, let them know that you're needing to do something from home on the side and, uh, and see if you can do it. So I think there are very few situations in which an employer will not allow you to make money outside of work. So 
Um, that number one is where I would start. I've oftentimes feel like that has been an excuse that students uh, have made for themselves when it really ended up not being a true issue. But if you do have a job where they literally tell you, I will fire you if you start a bookkeeping business, then yes, there are plenty of other techniques that you can utilize to get clients without using social media. However, it may just take a little bit longer, uh, but there are still a lot of different strategies. And I can give you one would be to reach out via email or phone to all of your local tax offices or tax offices all across the country to see if they need someone to outsource their bookkeeping to. That is a, a really great way to handle that if you cannot use social media to market. Um, but my suspicion is that you probably can use social media and to really think about, is this an excuse that I'm telling myself? Is this an un, uh, untrue fear that I have? So um, I've, I've seen that time and time again with students as they think that their job is going to get mad, but they really haven't looked into it yet, or they really haven't had that conversation with their boss yet. And then when they do, they realize they can, they can market after all. And uh, then, for example, we had, I think someone in our academy was able to, uh, quite a few people were able to go part-time at their jobs once their business started growing because they were able to have that conversation uh, with, their, with their owner. I actually also just um, interviewed someone on, for my virtual event, um, I interviewed her yesterday and she has a tax company. Hers is very unique. It's called Money Muscle. And she caters only to the fitness and health industry, which I love. Um, but when she first started out, she was working in a tax firm. And so same types of clientele. And so she told her boss, you know, I want to start this on, on the side. And her boss was cool with it. And even though they had the same marketing message, they were providing the same services, she still worked for her boss until she got her business up to a point where she didn't need to, or it didn't make sense. And so she just slowly kept reducing her hours at her corporate job until her business was to the point where she didn't really even want to work the corporate job anymore. So uh, I think you would be surprised if you go out and talk to your employer that you would be able to do both. So great question. Um, how much time should I expect to put in at the beginning of getting my business up and running? If you have one to two hours a day, then your business should be up and running within seven to 10 days. And if you continue to put that one to two hours into your business uh, marketing from a marketing standpoint, then you should have your first client within like another week and be able to, uh, you know, keep growing from there. So really all it takes is one to two hours a day and you can really build a solid business and start growing it. And then from there, as you start getting more clients, obviously you're going to be working more than just one or two hours a day because you're going to be cleaning up the clients, getting in a rhythm, understanding your processes, doing some trainings, probably be hopping on other Zoom calls. But at the beginning, really, even just an hour a day can make a huge difference for you. So what a great question. What a great question. All right. What else can I help you guys with? Who else is watching that is on the fence about um, learning more information about this, learning how to start a bookkeeping business, and what are some of the burning questions that you have? Got anything? If we have, if we don't have any questions, I can always come back next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central Time and answer them then. We have a lot of a lot of new people in the group this last few weeks. Let's see how many people are in here now. Twenty eight thousand seven hundred members in here. Woo! Uh, Tina says, oh, "I'm seeing some new ones." Okay, good. They're popping up. Great. Uh, Christina Marie says, "Is the academy a monthly expense or is it a one time fee?" We have a we have a one time fee for the academy and you will get 12 months of access to that. If at the end of it, you would like to stay in the academy, we do have a small subscription fee that you can pay to stay in, which a lot of people have, have utilized, 
or you can upgrade and go into our million dollar bookkeeper inner circle. So there's a couple of different options past your 12 months, um, but to get into the academy, it is a one time expense, one time investment. Uh, Sherry says, what if I live in Costa Rica? Uh, as long as you have internet and you are okay with getting clients, um, then you can work from anywhere. You can literally work from anywhere. Our program is, is going to show you how to get bookkeeping clients in the U S in Canada and in the UK. So if you are okay with taking clients in those three areas, even if you live in Costa Rica, you're going to have a super successful business. So all you really need is solid internet and a laptop and you're good. Uh, Tina Marie says, what all does bookkeeping entail? Great question. So bookkeeping is basically taking all of the transactions and the data that businesses have going on in their business accounts, their checking, savings, credit cards, loans that are related to their business activity and putting it all into QuickBooks and coding them all in a way that makes sense to review where, what is my total income? How does that income break out? What are my total expenses and how do all of those break out? How much am I spending on advertising? How much am I spending on payroll? How much am I spending on office supplies? So basically you're just taking all of these transactions, we're putting them into QuickBooks Online, we're classifying them appropriately, and then we're viewing reports showing all of that data completely broken out. So that's basically what bookkeeping entails. 80% of what you do is low level, easy data entry, literally 80% of it. 20% is going to be higher level skills that you need to learn how to classify transactions, how to make sure everything's in there correctly, how to read financial statements. Those are the things that we really focus on in the academy. So anyone can learn this because so much of it is easy, low level data entry. You only really have a very small amount of high level skills that you have to learn to be a successful bookkeeper. And we teach you in the academy how to provide uh, basic bookkeeping services that are very easy, but in very high demand. So you don't have to be a tax expert. You don't have to learn high level uh, CFO, cert, like a cert, um, certified financial officer level. You don't have to learn anything like that. You can make a great living up to $250,000 per year working one 40 hour work week by doing basic bookkeeping for businesses. And it's in tons of high demand. Um, Paul says, I've seen ads for other bookkeeping academies and training services. What would you say makes yours stand out and a better fit than others? Um, great question. So there are other options just like with everything else. Although I do feel like we are the best. Um, we really, really strive in a couple of things. Um, number one, we really, really understand that most of our audience is doing this because they want to be home with their kids. And that is what we really strive on. We want you to have an awesome business, but really we want you to love your life. And we want you to be able to do the things that you want to do with your life. So we come in it from that angle. Um, so we teach you everything you need to know about a business, but we also teach you everything that you need to know to have like a really great grasp on, on your life as an, as a new business owner. Um, that's one thing. The other thing is we have our program structured in a way that kind of flips what normal college is. We expect you to come in knowing nothing and we want you to start getting clients. And we are set up to literally help you with those clients, even though you don't know anything when you start. So you're making money first and learning on the job as you're making money. So you, because we know parents don't have time to go back and get, uh, take all this schooling, get this degree and then come back and try to find a job and make money. So it's, it's the opposite of that. And I think that's one thing that really sets us apart. We also are constantly improving, constantly changing our program to fit the needs of our current students. And we strive for getting that constant feedback. We are not really a business that comes in and is like, this is how we do it. There's no flexibility. Um, so we don't do that. We, we are constantly getting feedback and viewing, talking about what our students are asking, what questions are they asking? How can we make this easier and better and more efficient for them? So that really sets us apart as well. 
And I think that just being able to do that in the way that we structure, the way we accommodate and help, and we have a lot, a lot of coaches that are available to you instead of just like one or two people. And it really helps being able to learn from a lot of different people as well, who all are teaching, you know, the same things. It's very validating to hear it the same way from multiple different people, but also to be able to have lots of different people to ask questions and you can get your questions answered really quickly. I know of like a handful of other bookkeeping training services. I don't know anybody that does it the way we do. So we are just really there for the wholesome person, not just to teach you how to have a bookkeeping business. So that is truly, I think, what sets us apart more than anything. We are here to transform your life so that you can have your cake and eat it too. The way we do that is by showing you how to have a bookkeeping business. But first and foremost, your life needs to be changed for the better. And that's the whole goal here. So great question. Thanks for asking that. Rebecca says, is it overwhelming to have a bunch of small clients? Yes and no. Uh, depends on what your definition of small is. We have a minimum monthly fee of $300 a month per business owner. If you have a bunch of clients that are only paying you $100 a month, Yes, that gets overwhelming. If you have a bunch of small clients paying you 300 a month, that is manageable. That is great because it is probably, you're probably going to make more than $100 an hour on a bunch of small clients that are paying you 300 a month. Um, so I personally liked having smaller clients and I like the quantity of clients. If you do get too small, if they're paying you too little though, it, it does take a certain amount of time to manage more clients. Other people in our academy prefer having less clients with larger paying fees. So you'd have bigger clients. Sometimes those clients can be um, more hands-on, more deadlines, maybe more needy. Uh, so that's something that we help you work out as you're going through the course of your business, you will learn what you like and you don't like. And that is truly a personal preference. Um, so it's something that, you know, everybody kind of changes up depending on their experience with particular clients. You'll also learn what type of clients you like to work with and what type of clients you might not want to get the next go round. So uh, there's a lot to learn and you learn all this stuff. So if you if you want to know the true key to success with your bookkeeping business, it is being okay with constant learning. You're going to always be learning something as a business owner. So as long as you're okay with that and you know that you're not going to have all, you're not going to have all the answers and that's okay. Cause you're going to learn it as you go. Um, and these kind of questions will be answered as you, as you go along and you have experiences. Uh, hi, Ashley. Ashley says, is there a payment option for the one-time fee for the Academy? Yes, we do have payment options. We use funding specialists and we have quite a few different options. So if you book a call with us, we can kind of go through that with you, get you pre-approved and see what your options are there. Pretty much all of them do a soft credit check. So um, you can explore your options without it hurting your credit at all. And how do you get all of the data transactions from your clients? Great question. So most of our clients give us accountant access to their bank and credit cards, or they will give us their login information to access them. And we show you how to store all that information in a password protection system. And um, then you can go in and you can download the transactions, or you can actually connect their bank with QuickBooks and it pulls all of the transactions in automatically. And then once a month, you can log into their accounts and you can download their bank statements and be able to double check. And we call it reconcile. Um, and you double check to make sure that what's in the bank, what's on the bank statement matches what you put into QuickBooks online. So that's the best way that we can get uh, data and transaction from our clients. It's the most efficient way. And all of this is covered in our academy as well. So if you uh, decide you really want to do this, every single one of these questions are answered in our academy. And we go into detail on them on the Zoom calls too, if you ever have further questions about it as well. Um, Rebecca says, it's hard to imagine only spending 10 to 12 hours a week on 10 clients. Um, interesting. I would love to dive into that. What sounds hard to you about it? Um, if you, if you, are in our academy, or if you even look at the um, the course 
mini course, Learn the Basics, that's on our, our Teachable website. If you look at that one, it takes you through a training on how to do a full 12 months of bookkeeping for a sample client. And I so you get to see from start to finish exactly what it looks like. And it only takes me about three hours to do a whole 12 months of bookkeeping for uh, a sample client, which was my bookkeeping business back from back in 2018, I think. Um, so really what happens is if you're efficient, you're working once a week or even maybe just once a month on these clients and you sit down and you do all of their transactions, reconcile all of their accounts, review the financial statements. It really only takes maybe an hour a week per client to do that. It's very easy. It's very efficient and it's very fast. So, um, you know, it's, it's really profitable and I, and I'm not even exaggerating the tiniest bit. You will make a hundred dollars an hour or more working as a virtual self-employed bookkeeper. I promise, especially if you quote, like we tell you to quote in the Academy, the biggest trap that people get into is when they under quote clients. And they usually do that because they feel like they should, because they're new and that kind of stuff. We all do it at the beginning. Everyone always has their first or second client. They've under quoted themselves. Then they get in there and they realize like, this is more work than I thought. So they don't do that to themselves going forward. But when you quote the way that we show, you will make a hundred dollars an hour or more doing bookkeeping work. So, um, but yep, absolutely. You can very easily work only 10 hours a week with 10 clients. Tom says, what most encourages you today about growing a bookkeeping business? Uh, what encourages me the most today? Well, like I sold my bookkeeping business so I could start this academy, but what excites me about helping you all grow bookkeeping businesses now is how incredibly life-changing it is on a personal level. You guys are changing your lives. You are literally starting to live your dream lives, doing things that you only thought was possible some 20 years down the road when you finally made it big at your corporate job or when your kids were grown and you could go back to work or whatever that dream um, used to be for you. I'm seeing all of my students have those dreams come true right now. Like, within six months of joining the academy. That's what's most encouraging to me. And I also find so much encouragement out of how easy it is for everyone to find clients. It is a, a ro mental roadblock that some people have when they come into the academy, but for the ones that keep going and, and they don't let that stop them, they find clients so fast, so fast. And really right now is such a great time because people are quitting their corporate jobs left and right to start businesses, which means there's unlimited amount of companies out there that need bookkeeping help. So we need to keep up. We need to keep producing more and more bookkeepers because it doesn't take that many clients to make an amazing living. And there's going to be so many more business owners out there needing help. Bookkeeping is going to be one of the most in-demand, highest demand careers that you could potentially go into in the, in the coming year. Um, so for example, when I was making $250,000 a year, I was only working about 35 hours a week and I only had about 30 clients. So you can really make a lot of money with a very small client load too, if you want. And that's, that just equates to, I mean, we could literally have like 10 million bookkeepers out there or more to service all of these bookkeeping clients. So, um, yeah, there's just, there's just plenty of, of businesses to go around. So that that's what's the most encouraging to me is knowing um, how easy it is for you guys to all change your life. Um, we have different options as far as investment into our program. So Whitney, if you want to book a call with our team, we can go over the program options with you, figure out which program is going to be the best, and then we can run you through our funding specialist to see what kind of options you have as far as um, getting into one of those programs. Uh, Tina says, okay, Tina, I just answered that question as well. Uh, Chandra, have you ever had a client drop you? If so, what are some things to do to avoid that? Oh, wow. That's a great question. So, um, one, another great thing about having a bookkeeping business is once you get clients, you set them up on a monthly reoccurring automatic billing. So you get the money every month on the first of the month, and then you do the work for that month after you get paid. And month after month after month, you have the same clients. 
I had pretty much all of the same clients I had from the very beginning and just kept adding on more. So that's why my business was able to grow. And that's how everyone in the academy grows their businesses because they can constantly um, keep growing because they're adding a new client and new client instead of swapping clients out. Um, you know, like MLMs do, it's like you get a client, they buy something and then they go away. So you got to find another client to buy something and then they go away. That's not how it happens with bookkeeping. You get a client and they stay with you and then you get another client and they stay with you. And we call it the snowball effect too in the academy. So you're doing marketing, you're doing marketing. And as you're rolling down the hill and you're picking up your momentum, you're getting more, you're getting more clients and the snowball is, the snow's accumulating. And by the time you get to the end of the hill, you've got this giant snowball full of clients. Um, that's kind of what it's like with a bookkeeping business. And um, so the only times that I ever lost a client is number one, um, maybe their business wasn't doing so well uh, for whatever reason, their business was just in a bad niche or they had, you know, family problems and they, they lost their business or whatever. So anytime that their, their business suffered or their business closed or anything, obviously like then they don't need a bookkeeper. So a couple of times that happened, there were a couple of times I had clients that were just personality wise, not a good fit for me. Uh, they were like hateful <laughs> or demanding or mean. And I just don't feel comfortable working with people like that. So I would let them go or they would leave because I wouldn't engage in their negativity. So there was a couple of times where I had clients like that, just bad personality fits. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, the best way to keep your clients though, hands down, 100% communication. You will find when you start this, that it's so easy to find clients because most of the clients that already have bookkeepers complain because their bookkeeper or their accountant does not get back with them. When they ask a question or they email them or they text them, their accountant is so busy because they've either undercharged or because they do taxes um, and they don't have time for their clients. So if you provide excellent customer service and communication, even if you don't know all the answers, this is why my students are so successful because they say, you know what? I'm not hundred percent sure how to answer that. Let me find out and get back to you. They come to the Academy, they ask a question and then they go back and they follow up with their client. That's all these people want. They just want someone that they know is going to take care of them. They don't want the smartest person in the world to be their bookkeeper. They don't want the most experienced bookkeeper in the world to be their bookkeeper. They just want somebody that they know cares about them and is going to have their best interest at heart. So if that means you don't have all the skills yet, but you're going to develop them when necessary, that's all they really care about. So what a great question, Chandra. I love that. Uh, Rebecca says, how can people take time off when they are the only one in their business? Uh, great question. So let's see. When I hit one year in business, I decided to celebrate by taking a 16 day vacation across the country. So we bought a brand new van. We loaded it up with all of our stuff. Plus I had three kids at the time and I brought my niece. So four kids, my husband and I, and we drove to Colorado. We hiked at Estes Park. We drove to the beach. We stayed there in the, an apartment by the beach for 10 days. And then we finished it up with hiking in the Grand Canyon before we drove back home to Missouri. And uh, I structured my vacation during my slowest week of, of the month. So you're going to have like ups and downs peaks during, during your month cycle uh, of a bookkeeper. And so I scheduled it during the slowest week and I pushed everything off that I could during that. It was like 16 days, obviously. Um, so what I did, I had a couple of clients that I actually offered to do invoicing for. So they were a little bit more needy. This is what I was talking about earlier about like higher paying clients can be a little bit more time sensitive and needy. So I had a couple of clients like that where I was doing their invoicing. And, uh, so I just took my laptop with me and I did the bare minimum. I did the bare minimum that I knew my clients would need from me to be super happy. And then when I got back from vacation, I had a couple of full days of working to get caught up, but it was so worth it because we got to experience something super incredible. Um, and then of course, as you grow your business, we'll teach you how to hire VAs to help you oversee emails. So that way, you know, like you've got help, you've got other eyes on things. It's not just you. So if you do want to take a full week off, you can, and in the, um, million dollar bookkeeper inner circle that you can graduate into, we show you how to build a whole team. So your bookkeeping business can basically run itself. A lot of the students that are, that come back and they coach for us in the academy, they do this. They have a lot of people helping them uh, run their business now, and it gives them the time to even come back and be coaches in our academy. So 
And there's lots of different ways you can do this. I also, when in 2017, the beginning of 2017, I got pregnant with twins and I'm only five, one. So having twins in my stomach was very difficult, a very difficult pregnancy. I have a really small torso. So, um, I was able to super scale back. Like I just did the bare minimum all the time in my business during that entire pregnancy. And probably for the first like six months after my twins were born and even though I couldn't take a full maternity leave, like I couldn't completely take it off. And I, I dropped down to working like 10 hours a week. Um, and I just like would batch all of my, my hours, um, as much as I could. So, and then of course I, I leveraged my husband's help to do as much data entry as possible. So there's so many things you can do. The flexibility is, is endless. It's literally endless, but I will say, to completely unplug and not be able to, to take a vacation and literally no responsibility, mm, that takes a little bit of practice. You, you've got to grow a pretty decent team to do that. Um, Tom, you're very welcome. I'm so glad this was helpful and inspiring. Thank you for the awesome questions. Um, Maria, does your academy provide info how to establish their own human resource items, health insurance, registration of company name, 1099 forms? Yes, I wouldn't classify those necessarily as human resource items, but yes, we have an entire video on what to do about health insurance. We tell you how to register your company name, your LLC. We have a, a vendor that we work with that provides great help for you guys in that. We show you how to do 1099s, literally everything. There is I can't think of a single thing that is not covered in our academy, which is maybe another thing that stands us apart in other um, bookkeeping trainings. You're going to learn in other places, might just learn bookkeeping. We teach you everything on how to grow your business, how to have a successful business and a super happy life. So you guys were awesome. You guys had great questions. This was so fantastic. I really loved engaging with everybody. Um, I'm going to drop the link in here one more time to book a free discovery call with us because we would love to chat with you if this is something that you're thinking about doing. If, if it is, bring your spouse to the call if you can. We would love to be able to talk to you guys together and like, what are your, what are your family goals? What are your goals to, to, you know, as a family and how can this bookkeeping business uh, get you to reaching those goals too? So, all right. So you guys book calls with us. And uh, thank you, Deb, for watching and book a call with us. And I will see you back here next Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody.